What's going on guys? Two years ago, I made a video titled Photo and Video Editing PC for 2020 and I showcased what's in this rig, but today I want to rehouse this rig because it's kind of gross and the case is extremely old. And my office partner slash friend, jbrash4d, who has a YouTube channel, you can see his channel in the link in the description below. He makes awesome CG content and has a way cooler PC than I do. But he's so graciously provided me a new case and a 3070, right? You're giving that to me for free. That's what I thought. Anyways, so after I build this PC out, I wanna test it against the new M1 Max MacBook Pro. So why compare these two systems in the first place? I mean, obviously they're two different computers, but they have two different operating systems and ultimately they are two different form factors. I mean, try taking that custom built PC into a coffee shop. That would be pretty crazy. As a video producer, my main goal is efficiency. And as the cliche saying goes, time is money. So that's why it's so important to check these computers out to see which one runs faster and which one ultimately gets the job done in the least amount of time. Let me go ahead and preface, this is by no means a perfect comparison, but it's what I'm currently using to edit videos, and I'm pretty sure by doing the math correctly, and don't trust me on math, this is somewhat in the similar range in price point. So without further ado, the left side, the backhand side, I have the R9 3900X, a 12 core processor clocked at 4.2 gigahertz. For RAM, I have 64 gigabytes of DDR4 memory. It's clocked at 3600 megahertz. For the graphics card, I have the RTX GeForce 3070, which has eight gigabytes of dedicated RAM. And last but not least, which is super important for editing, I have a one terabyte NVMe SSD. On the right hand side, I have the M1 Max MacBook Pro. And I don't know the exact specifications for this. I, I hear it's 32 cores. I don't know exactly what that means, but it's an integrated CPU and GPU. So that's why I said beforehand, this is not a perfect comparison, but I think it'll give a pretty good idea on what's efficient for video editing. For this test, I wanna run it in two different programs. One, DaVinci Resolve, and two, Premiere Pro. For the first test, I'll be running DaVinci Resolve with my latest wedding film edit, and this project is native on both hard drives. Also, all of these clips have noise reduction, there's a LUD on them, and they're even stabilized to some degree. So with that being said, let's see who wins. I'm recording this not knowing which one actually wins. So let's move on to the second test. For the second test, I'm... So I was editing this video and I actually didn't do the test that I was mentioning here, but I instead did another test where I found all the assets and everything. It was supposed to be less intensive, but let's see what happens. So what did we learn in this test? Well, we learned quite a few things and my prediction was the M1 Max was definitely going to win only because it's designed and optimized for H.265 footage, which is what this whole test was primarily based on. It's just mind boggling that in 2022 that you can get a laptop that completely beats a custom rig PC, especially with half the RAM. So which computer is right for you in 2022? Well, if you're a video producer or a content creator, I think the M1 Max is a no brainer. I mean, those speeds were absolutely mind blowing. Plus the versatility and the portability of having a laptop on hand is priceless. But with all of that, thank you so much guys for watching. I know I dragged this on a little bit, but I wanted to build the suspense up for sure. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. But for now, I'll see you in the next one.